What's going on everybody? I am back out in the shop gonna work on Clyde some more today. I need to get the headers finished up. Last time we left off, I ended up cutting off these flanges here and uh, I need to clean these up, clean out the pipe that was on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind those out. I got a little die grinder and stuff, gonna grind all those out, uh, set it in so then I can get the headers going. The headers are gonna come up and out, so that's gonna be good. Um, I also ended up getting a Flaming River manual rack. Uh, the guys over there helped me out and I kind of got it mocked up. Going to uh, see how well this is going to work out. See kind of where I need to mount it. But uh, I'm going to hold off on that just a little bit until I get the headers finished. But I just kind of set it up in there. See where I'm at. Um, <clears throat> kind of getting close here. But with this traveling up, uh, hopefully I'm going to be okay. And I'll have to see where I got to run the... Uh, the little steering shaft and all that stuff, but uh, otherwise it's coming along, but I'm gonna get the headers, uh, get going on the headers. Then also I need to get the uh, rear end out of the car and start working on building the nine inch for it. So whenever everything else is done, we can pop the nine inch in it and go, uh, hoping I don't run into too much clearance issues with that. Buddy came over, Alex, he helped me get the uh, rear end out. And so that was a big help. We're gonna get it put in the truck here in a minute. So, uh, I'm gonna take it over to my dad's. He has like a jig to set up to like build nine inches. I have a nine inch housing that I'm planning on using. Uh, I either need to refab or cut off these brackets here uh, and move them over to a nine inch. So I gotta figure out exactly how I wanna do that, but I'm just gonna take the whole rear end over there. So I know kind of what I need to do uh, to make the new mounts. So then the nine inch will go back in and use all the stock locations. And then that'll be it. And then I got to get some brakes and stuff like that ordered. Uh, also working on kind of a mess right now in here. But we ended up getting the front struts off the car. So what I was looking at is I had to spin this around because from the factory, the steering linkage and everything came through the back. But with the new oil pan and all that, that's definitely not going to work. So I uh, spun these around, which actually this is that side. Um, but I'm still quite a ways away from where the steering rack is going to be. So it's like the arm would need to be that longer or I got to slide the rack back into the car quite a bit all right so i'm definitely gonna have some issues up here in the front end trying to figure out the steering but uh it'll just something's got to make it work so uh get going on the rear end get the steering and then keep working on the header so then hopefully it all comes together i still got to try to have the car done by june so it's going to be crazy but uh it doesn't have to be perfect i just need to get the car done get uh it running and driving and then if there's stuff i got to work on or fix which is fine uh but I need to figure out kind of what it needs, like with steering and all that, with what's going to work and what's not. Well, this is the Aerospace Brakes Kit. Got all the instructions, all the bolts, starting to get it put together here. Um, but ran into a little issue. I talked to Aerospace. They said, you drill and tap this, but the stock bolt is almost the same size as this bolt. And uh, so once you drilled it out, you wouldn't have enough material there. And then this going on the back side of it. I didn't know if they wanted me to drill this completely out all the way and then just put the nut on it so then you actually have no threads but uh, i don't quite like that idea either so i'm gonna run across town see if i can find this bolt with this thread and then get some nylon nuts and then it'll be what i feel is uh sufficient okay. all right so scratch that idea they didn't have any of that so I'm just gonna go ahead and drill this out here and go ahead and use the bigger hardware that they supplied with it. We got all this done. These are all installed. Everything's torqued down, good to go. Wheel bearings are greased, all of that. Use the YouTube to figure out how to pack wheel bearing grease. Uh, now we just need to set the calipers on and then everything should be good to go to be able to start reinstalling it in the car. Okay, so we ended up getting the calipers and all the rotors and everything on from Aerospace. This is a RX2 kit that is now bolted in. Uh, went on fairly easy once we kind of figured out the direction that we needed to do it so it's looking pretty good get a wheel put up on here and see I, i'm thinking that this is right about where um ride height will be uh just lift it up on it until it got tight with uh the weight in it because the engine is sitting in the car so go ahead and uh, see how the wheel looks on there that's looking pretty good got the wheel on there spins pretty nice Going to uh, get some tires ordered this week and get them put on, and we'll see uh, if I can get the car set down at weight. I think that's it for today. Got the uh, brakes on there and everything looks good, so making some progress, looking at the headers, looking that I'm probably gonna have to run a remote mount water pump since this is gonna get in the way, and if I ran the Camaro water pump, it would hit the frame. So probably gonna have to get rid of the mechanical water pump and go to a remote mount 
kind of sucks, but I am gonna gain some room there, so that'll be a good thing. Shout out to Alex for coming by, helping out. Get Salty pulled back in here, sitting out in the cold, trying to warm up. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you guys next time.